I know you've uh, been a voice in the Senate over the current situation in the Middle East. We are almost four months after the horrifically unforgivable acts of October 7th. You've called Hamas a disgusting terrorist organization. Many hostages are not back. And yet we also see an unspeakable loss of civilian lives in Gaza. Is there, do you have any optimism for a peaceful future for Israelis Seth, I and I hope to God it takes place. And as you've just indicated, Hamas began this war with their horrific, brutal uh, terrorist attack against uh, killing 1,200 innocent Israelis, uh, wounding more, taking over 200 people hostage. But I have to tell you that what Netanyahu and his right-wing government are doing right now to the people of uh, Palestine, is of Gaza, is uh, indescribable and unspeakable. I mean, we're looking at 25, 26,000 people who have been killed already, two-thirds of whom are women and children, 65,000 people who have been wounded. We're looking at 70% of the housing units in Gaza have been damaged or destroyed. Can you believe that? 70%? You're looking at 1.8 million people pushed out of their homes. God knows where they're going. And right now, and this is, I hope everybody hears this, you're looking at the possibility of hundreds of thousands of children starving to death. And we in the United States, through our financial support of Israel, are complicit in what's happening. And I will be damned if I'm going to give another nickel to the Netanyahu government in order to continue this war against the Palestinian people. Do you see? I mean, it all seems so uh, uh, impossible. I mean, I certainly don't know the solution. I wouldn't ever claim to, but do you see any hope for optimism that there's a future for the Palestinians and the Israelis? The history of the region is terrible. You know, we don't have time to, to go into it. it. deals with the Holocaust of six million Jews. It deals with the displacement of hundreds of thousands of Palestinians from their home. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, the people, the Palestinian people, are entitled to a homeland of their own. So we're talking about a two-state solution. Hamas cannot be, in my view, part of that equation. They are a terrorist jihadist group. There are people, Palestinians, who believe in democracy, Palestinians who do believe in improving the lives of people there. We've got to work with those people and create a long-term solution where Israel has the security that it is entitled to and the Palestinians have a state of their own and the freedom that they are entitled to.